Hello Virgo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading. It'll be a general love reading, uh, so it won't resonate with every Virgo watching, so keep that in mind. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. I'm going to be doing a past, present, and future spread today, but time is fluid, so the situation that I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future and as always roles can be reversed so i'm going to say virgo the other person someone and that's because energies can be vice versa so feel free to uh, interpret those as they resonate today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i already shuffled the oracle decks off camera so i'm just going to cut the decks on camera and then we'll get into the tarot all right virgo let's see what we have for virgo Spare, what messages do you have for Virgo? First message is message in a bottle. Love that energy. I'm gonna look at that in the book. But let's get the other message first. For Virgo. Spare, what messages does Virgo need to know? Beautiful commitment. Love it. Some sort of message about commitment. Let's see what the book has to say about message in a bottle. Number 15 here. And I'm just going to read the one that has to do with the relationship. You can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call, or email. You are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will only good will come of it in the end the signs are all there beautiful so some sort of message coming in for you Virgo regarding commitment here I can definitely feel that energy all right so let's get into the tarot and see what this is all about I am using two decks today messages for Virgo spirit Sun rising and Venus what does Virgo need to know regarding love Messages for Virgo, please. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. All right, messages for Virgo. So I'm just going to wait for a card to come out and then I'll lay down the rest of the cards. Okay. First card, Empress. Love it. Got the sun. Wow. I love this energy. Nine of Wands. Okay. Two of Wands, all right. Potential, I'm getting potential for growth here so far. Magician, okay. Someone's manifesting their happiness here and the Emperor, sign of Aries. The Emperor is struggling to take back control of a situation that I feel has not been very good. This person, this sign of Wands, he is exhausted. He is a little bit paranoid, guarded, um, kind of looking back because he doesn't know what's coming with the Nine of Wands. He doesn't give up, even though he's been through a lot. And I feel like the Emperor here is like, this person's coming into their power. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Well, that goes great with this commitment card, doesn't it, Virgo? Judgment, geez, I'm getting so many major arcanas here. This is huge change. Virgo. I'm going to clarify all of these. The chariot. My goodness. Wow. This energy is crazy. Bottom of the deck, king of wands. Just say that we can't. Another king of wands. So, action. Um, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a Cancer, an Aries here. Um, doesn't have to be. But this, this here at the bottom, this future at the bottom here, the near future, this is huge. This is a wake up call of some sort with judgment about moving forward on a commitment, a possible commitment here. Something stable and long, long term, long term here is what I'm getting. Someone has seen the potential of something. The possibilities are trying to take the tentative first steps because they manifested something here. Um, I feel like, well, let's clarify before I get into it, but I feel like someone here has 
been struggling with communicating something. And that's why we're getting that message in a bottle. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Virgo. You or someone else is prepared to take action. I feel like maybe you've had your own personal struggles with the Nine of Wands. We're going to clarify and see what that's all about. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Virgo regarding love. What messages do you have for Virgo regarding love? Let's start with this Queen of Wands, which was at the bottom of the deck. Someone's taking action. What's this queen, what's this king of wands about, spirit? For Virgo. What is this king of wands about? The readings lately have had a very similar theme. Um, so we'll see if it's gonna be the same for Virgo. What's this king of wands about? Well, way too many, but I'm gonna take them. Oh, I thought I was gonna taking one but I guess not okay three of wands again waiting for a message someone here is waiting for a message so that they can take action or they're taking action by sending out a message page of swords someone's been watching or vice versa someone's been assessing the situation that's what I just heard assessing the situation um, but again with the message pages are messengers so someone's definitely Thinking of communicating something here with the Page of Swords. We have the High Priestess. I feel like there has not been communication between you and this person. Or someone has kept this message that's coming in to themselves. Um, someone hasn't communicated their true feelings or has, I keep getting kept something to themselves. Very four of pentacles energy here. They're holding on to this. For others of you, I'm also getting someone really has been listening to their intuition. Their intuition has led them to make this communication. Five of swords. Interesting. So with this five of swords energy, I feel like someone's going to communicate their loss. Someone has lost something, has been defeated in some way, has been challenged in some way. Something has not gone right for this person. This Five of Swords energy didn't go down the way they thought it would or this situation they were in, they were at a disadvantage. Um, I feel like that's going to be part of the message as well. Maybe that's why they have not been communicating for some of you. Bottom of the deck, I have the Chariot again. Sign of Cancer, victory, success, forward movement. Tell me about the Empress. So when I saw the Empress and the Two of Wands right underneath, I immediately thought potential for growth. Um, I thought of love as well. There's love here. Um, there is someone that's very nurturing here. This is typically a mother or wife figure or, or someone maternal. Let's see. What's this Empress about? I feel like someone has been growing something here, investing in themselves, planting seeds, you know, and now they're sitting amongst all of the, the they've grown. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Good luck, fortune. Someone has been successful here. Someone sees the potential with someone, thanks to this wheel. This wheel has changed a situation has changed someone's perception here king of pentacles under the deck tell me more about this empress yeah there's something new coming in here if you look at this card which i love this deck so much i love the artwork with the wheel, there's someone that is grayed out on the left, and then on the right, there's like color. I feel like there's new life being brought to a situation here. New growth. Something that was dead is now alive. Five of Pentacles, some sort of um, struggle. So there was struggle here. Something didn't get off the ground, didn't grow in the past. And now the wheel is here to change that. Someone could have iced someone out. There was, again, no communication. There was no warmth 
in this connection in the past or currently because time is fluid so take it as it resonates but um, five of wheels is also the card of insecurity usually financial insecurity financial struggle um, feeling abandoned here so I feel like there was something in the past that didn't didn't work out here There's a strength card under the deck sign of Leo. I feel like someone has had to have courage to deal with whatever situation has happened with this wheel. This, this new growth, I feel like is giving someone strength or they're having this, they're needing to have inner strengths to grow something, to bring something back. Tell me about the sun. This is happiness. Um, this could also symbolize someone having a child or, you know, and with the Empress, someone could be having children here or struggling here with children. Just because, again, Empress and five, the wheel turning, um, I, I'm really getting that sense of bringing something to life. Tell me about the sun. Could be also a relationship. Tell me about the sun for Virgo. The Hierophant. Commitment, again. Could be a Taurus. Someone is going to have a commitment coming in that makes them very, very happy. Hold on. Oh my gosh, the cards have just flipped out. If they are meant to come back out, they will. Tell me more about this sun. Those just didn't feel right, so tell me more about the sun spirit. What is the sun doing here for Virgo? Okay. Strength card again, and there you are, the hermit, Virgo. The hermit sign of Virgo and strength card sign of Leo. I feel like a lot of you have, someone has gone within here um, to listen to their inner voice to have courage to go after what makes them happy, to have courage to approach someone, send a message about commitment. Because again, this person is communicating something they've gone through here. I feel like someone could have shut someone out or this relationship just never got off the ground at some point. And it, there was no growth at some point. And um, I feel like because of that, and over time, possibly, someone has withdrawn, gone on a, on a journey of self-discovery here. Um, someone also with the strength card has learned to not be so forceful in a situation, not force certain things into happening, almost like trusting that they'll be guided to the right path here, the right person, possibly. But um, I'm also getting that someone has really been thinking long and hard about how to approach someone with this message. I feel like the message is, I want to commit type of message. The message is, um, you know, I haven't told you how I felt about something or I need to get something out here. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. What's this nine of wands about? What's this nine of wands about? This is long-term struggle here with the nine of wands. Yeah, three of swords just popped up. There's been heartbreak in the past here, or possibly right now. Um. Wow, six of cups. Yeah, something happened in the past between you and this person some sort of painful situation um, could be a past life connection, but I'm really getting past, past. Something in the past was very painful. Something in the past caused someone to be guarded, to put their walls up, to feel tired, um, burdened, burdened. Bottom of the deck, I have six of cups. Again, this concept of victory. Someone wants to change this situation here. Um, someone really wants to go after their happiness here. Someone I feel like is tired of this 
this energy here. So I'm just moving the card so I can see what I have here. I feel like someone also is tired of keeping something to themselves. It's been a, this, this wanting victory, this wanting to send this message. Yeah, nine of cups behind that. This person wants to go after their wish fulfillment. They want victory with who they feel is your wish fulfillment. This is all they think about um, is what I'm getting with the Hermit card. Tell me about the Two of Wands. This is again waiting. Looking out at the possibilities of the situation. And again, having that courage to take the first steps. Eight of Swords. Okay, someone again with the thinking. Someone has been thinking a lot about this situation. Someone has been trapped in their thoughts, trapped in their head. I have the moon under the, the I have the moon under the deck. <laughs> Um, so again, secrets, mystery, the unknown. Someone doesn't know how someone else feels probably. And it's like, it's all they can think about is how am I going to make this happen? If there's been so much unsaid, tell me about this two of wands. Wow. Four of wands. I see the potential. Does someone see the potential here with a partner? Um, they just don't know how to get this started. Like they don't know how to move forward. It's almost like it's it's like at the it's yeah, and Queen of Swords under the deck. So I feel like this person is probably afraid of the reaction they're going to get when they do speak up because Queen of Swords, she's been through a lot and she has walls up. She's drawn boundaries. She's protecting herself because of all that she's been through. She wants you to come at her straight, to come at her with facts, logic. Um, she's not swayed by emotion. Um, she has a tough exterior, but but inside she's a very warm person, really. Um, this person is thinking, I how am I gonna get how am I gonna communicate this to Virgo when it when something just was not right, didn't work out in the past, when it's been so much time that has passed, possibly as well. Wow, two of cups just flipped up. I'm not gonna take it because I didn't get a chance to answer, I asked my question, but um, it did flip out. So we'll see if it comes back out. Tell me about the magician spirit. This person's thinking long-term stability and marriage with the higher font, four of wands and commitment here. They want to commit here. Let's see, what's this magician about? Wow, Eight of Cups. Why the Eight of Cups? Hold on, I have to clarify this. Why the Eight of Cups? Spirit, why is the Eight of Cups here? Over and over. Nine of Cups. See, I'm telling you, this person is walking away from something. They've manifested a, uh, a transition to their Nine of Cups. They're in emperor energy and there, there's nothing stopping this person from their wish fulfillment. Could be you or this other person. And there's the king of swords under the deck. This person's on a mission is what I'm getting. They're on a mission to deliver the truth. <laughs> it's so clear to me. So tell me about this emperor then. Could be an Aries again, but it doesn't have to be. I focus more on the energy of the cards. But this, this is very masculine energy. The emperor is very decisive, um, powerful. He has complete control over his kingdom. There's a six of wands. Holy crap, guys. Th this person, there's no, oh my God, and the knight of wands under the deck. This, this person, there's nothing stopping this person. This person's on a mission, like I said. Tell me about this ace of pentacles, please. For Virgo, it's either you or someone else. You are going after your happiness, your wish fulfillment. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups. Yep, there's a lot of love here. It could be a water sign, Cancer's Pisces, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. There's a lot of love here, 
behind this offer. Look what's under the deck, Page of Cups. Look at this energy. This is someone who is, again, wanting to communicate how they feel, the love they have for someone, the appreciation they have for someone. Um, this, The King of Cups, he's emotionally mature. I feel like this person has, this Wheel of Fortune has helped this person become emotionally mature here. Tell me more about this Ace of Cup, of Pentacles. Wow, just thinking about Ace of Cups. This, this King of Cups, yeah, again with the Two of Wands. Again with the Two of Wands. This King of Cups wants this wants to bring this Ace of Pentacles and is thinking about which direction he should go to make this happen. Again, there's that there's that that possibility that there's some insecurity here with the Five of Pen Five of Pentacles up here. Oops, sorry, I almost knocked you guys over. Um, there's the possibility that someone here is scared of how their message is going to come across. I think it's going to be a surprise. There's a Knight of Swords, again, with the messages. This is a clear message being delivered. I think Judgment also had a, uh, a part to play here. Tell me about Judgment. Sorry, guys, I cannot speak today. But the energies are clear. I have, like, it's, like, clear as day in my head right now what this, what this spread is all about. This person is on a mission. There it is, Knight of Swords, again. This person's on a mission to deliver a message. Hey, I've woken up. I see things clearly now. I've learned from my mistakes. There's a renewal here happening, a rebirth. I want to revive something. I want a second chance. You're, you're getting the drift, right? That's what judgment is all about. This person possibly went through a karmic situation that has taught them what they truly value. Tell me more about judgment. And the Knight of Swords. Oh my God! There's the Two of Cups again, with a ton. Look, Three of Cups under the deck, Two of Cups with a bunch of other cards. I'm not going to take that, but I am going to take the Two of Cups because it did, clearly it wanted to come out. Um, look what's behind the Two of Cups. Are you ready? Ten of Cups. And just for giggles, I'm going to look at what's behind that. Judgment. Are you kidding me, Virgo? Oh my gosh. I love this reading so much. Behind that, the moon. And behind that, the chariot again. Are you kidding me? This person, he doesn't even care that there's an unknown, that there's fear. Fear is not holding him back. With the, with the moon, there's, there's a lot that's probably been unsaid. There's probably a lot that this person is doubting. That he's probably confused, he or she, about how this message will be perceived. But that's not stopping them. Tell me about the chariot. This person could also live at a distance from you. Could be a cancer, but again, I'm thinking victory and forward movement here. King of Swords. Yep. This, this person is on a mission. Temperance. Temperance. Sign of Sagittarius. This person could have been healing from a situation or is, is, is wanting to balance a situation out here. I feel like with the King of Swords, this person wants to communicate that they have healed from a situation or that they want to heal a situation. Um, Seven of Pentacles, this person has looked at the past here. Possibly this person has not been able to, has invested in the wrong person or the wrong situation in the past. And they don't want to do that anymore with temperance here. This is divine guidance as well. This is trying to balance a situation, two things that possibly are not mixing well together. This person's taking their time to balance something out with temperance. Um, sign of Sagittarius. Behind this Seven of Pentacles, I have the Tower. I've been getting the Tower and the Seven of Pentacles in a lot of these readings. Um, so some sort of shakeup has happened probably with that Wheel of Fortune. Probably left this person shook, to be honest, with the Nine of Wands there. And it's caused them to look at their past. And I feel like they've had a wake-up call with judgment. And nothing is going to keep them from sending this message. Like nothing. Nothing's going to keep them from getting this to you. 
Thank you so much for watching, Virgo. I hope this resonated with you. Leave me a comment if it did. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.